Hey everyone, it is Ashton Meyer, founder of Believe to Achieve fan page. And I'm making this quick video because when something gets placed in my heart that I need to speak about, it kind of just needs to come about. I am, yes, I am driving. No, I'm not paying attention to my screen. And that's about that. So I've seen people do worse and I'm not paying attention to the screen. Got it? Got it? Okay, glad that we're on that picture. Um, okay, something that has been placed on my heart recently is a lot of people have been talking about their goals and the determination to get them done. And they're like, Ashton, what did you do? Like, how did you do what you did? Like, what kept you moving? What kept you going? And in all reality, I know that it was the amazing Lord that kept pushing me and everything. Um, and the support, I mean, the support is huge. The support is what is going to keep you going when you don't feel like going. Yes, it's our mental mind battle and everything. And that's where we have to learn how to train our mental focus. We need to learn to focus ourselves on we can do it. We can do it. And telling ourselves that over and over and over again. But when you have someone there that believes in you when you don't believe in yourself, it just picks you back up. It is priceless. Like, look who you hang around. Look around the people that are like your top five people that you surround yourself with the most. What do they think? What do they see? How do they speak? Because I'm going to say this wrong, but I remember there being this quote or something that's like, you are the average of the top five people that you hang out with and stuff. And it's like, hmm, all right. So like, I don't want to be anywhere near the smartest person in the room um, when I'm in a room of people because I want to learn. I want to grow. I want someone who's going to push me and continue to help me. And that's the same way with other people. But anyways, how did I keep going? Like, let me ask you, really, right now, think about your goals, okay? Think about one of your goals that you are really set focused on that you want to achieve. Why do you want to achieve that goal? What is the sole purpose behind it? Is it, what is it for? So hold on to that why for a second here, okay? And let me bring you back to when I was 238 pounds, when I was struggling and I was depressed. I was blessed with three amazing children, but I had back surgery. I was in pain. I was out of breath. I would take them to a park and I'd, I was ready to leave. I didn't want to be there because I felt uncomfortable. I wasn't confident. I hid from pictures and I was not healthy. I was not healthy. It was a struggle to be in my position day by day by day by day. So what did I have to do? I knew that a change needed to be made. I couldn't continue doing the same things that I was doing and expect to change. I mean, I, I can wish on it. I could go get a diet pill or, you know, find something that was going to magically, uh, you know, change my life. And then in all reality, it's going to completely, it's for a quick fix. It's not a quick fix. This, is, this was going to be a lifestyle change. So when you look back and think before all these materials were created and this and that and supplements and every single itty bitty genetic, whatever you want to call them. What does it come down to? It comes down to exercising, to, to nutrition, like clean eating, and then that support. So I put my kids on this weighted level here. So I'm stopped, so my hands are not on the wheel. Uh, there was a weight level here, and then there was here. And I put my kids on the weight level, and then everything else that I wanted to do would go on to the other side. If I wanted to have a piece of cake, was that gonna help build my dreams and goals for my children? Absolutely not. I knew that eating a piece of cake is not more important than being healthy for my children and being there for them. I know that the leading cause of death, you know, in 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 our world, I mean, you you look, the leading cause of death, I mean, it's, it's, it's proven, it's, it's put on there. Now, is it saying that someone who is, is healthy can never get this or that? Absolutely not. I mean, there are healthy people that have heart attacks. There's healthy people that, um, you know, th that can have uh, diseases and all that stuff come up. But it is proven, you know, I mean, 
if you can prevent prevent the diseases, if you can prevent getting sick by being healthy, would you not want that? Do your children, do your family, do yourself mean more to you than eating a bunch of nasty processed food that's going to leave you feeling unproductive and not energetic? You tell me. So if your goal is financial, maybe you have a financial goal, maybe you're looking to find your soulmate or whatever it may be, are the things that you are doing and the people that are around you that are supporting you know what your goals are? And do you know yourself why you want that? If you're looking for your soulmate and um, you're out at the bars drinking and everything looking to find your soulmate, do you really think you're gonna find your soulmate there? I mean, unless that's what, how you wanna spend the rest of your life, if you wanna find someone who like, yeah, no, it's just not gonna happen. No, it's no, no, sorry, just being honest there. If you have a financial goal to get out of debt, but yet you're, you're, you look around and all of a sudden you see the next sale thing that comes up, oh my gosh, I gotta get it. Do you really need that object or that item? Because being in debt, if you're looking to get out of debt and build an empire for not only you, but your family, this legacy and everything that you have, buying something as like a clothes item or buying a purse or buying something that is so materialized that you absolutely do not need is not gonna get you there. Wait until you get past that and above and beyond and then go and get that. That's just like reminds me the other day I went and got clothes. I went to the Salvation Army and I took pictures. They weren't really great pictures. The lighting was horrible. So I should have took better ones. I got 15, no wait, I got 15 or 16 items and I'm talking about an old, old Navy brand. I'm talking about a guess dress that's like, you wanna look it up, it's like over $200. I got amazing quality clothes, 15 items. You wanna know how much that cost me? $24.83 or it was $23.84. That's amazing. Why? Because I don't need brand new, brand name clothes. I need clothes to cover me that I'm gonna feel comfortable in, that I'm gonna feel great in, and that's gonna be the least amount of cost because I would rather spend my money on something that's going to help provide for me and my family or that's gonna help other people. Like we we have an amazing, um, I know this is kind of off subject, but but we actually sponsor a child and it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling to be able to do that. And we're only looking to do more and everything. So back at it, you need to grab your goal and your why of everything that you want. Like, why do you want that? Like I said, you put it on that scale and then everything that you make that the choices, you have a choice. That's, that's the greatest thing that, that God gives us. We have our free will, our free choice. But well, what are you going to choose? Where is it going to take you? What path is it going to lead you down? Because that's the question that you have to make that decision on. It's hard. It's hard. You have to make tough decisions. You have to stay disciplined in what it is that you want. Do you think that if, I mean, imagine you have your goal, you have your dream. Do you think that you would have that goal or dream if you could accomplish it? Absolutely not. And I think that kind of came off wrong. But I mean, if you could accomplish it right now and then, that wouldn't be a goal. That wouldn't be a dream. So you know that there has to be hard work that comes with it. There has to be determination that comes from it. There has to be perseverance that comes from it. There has to be discipline and sacrifice that come with achieving something that you do not have. I hope that that's good enough. I'm going to leave it here. You guys have an amazing day. If this is something that helps you guys out, send this video out. I know that it really wasn't the most, like I said, I'm, I'm normally in my room. I'm kind of outside of my comfort zone, um, not being in there because you can't see my face and I don't like that. So, but I felt that this was a great message. And if this inspired you, I would for one, love you to share this video. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And let me know, hashtag believe to achieve fan page, you know, get, get added on there. And then I want you to tag believe to achieve and I wanna hear your goal. And I wanna hear how this inspired you because that's what it's all about. It's all about us taking our knowledge and sharing it with the world and inspiring everyone else 
to achieve their dreams and goals. So have an amazing, fantastic, wonderful day, blessed day, and we will see you guys soon. Bye.